Hi guys, and welcome back. Today we have a 435D in for a remap and it's also having a CSF intercooler. So what we're going to do is tune the car and then fit the intercooler and show you the difference the intercooler makes on a tuned car. We'll also data log the IATs and the boost pressure and show you the data logs and the difference it makes and the power on the dyno. So we've taken the stock intercooler out of the car and here's the CSF one that's going on. Now this is the same part number as the intercooler that's for the N55. So let's take it out. You can see it's pretty well packaged. Make sure it doesn't get damaged in transit. There go. Okay. So this one's got black powder coating. As you can see, it's got cast end tanks, like most of the other CSF intercoolers. Now, the cast end tanks make production easier, but also you can get a really smooth entry and exit into the intercooler, so it helps with flow. If I put it next to the stock one, You can see the size difference. It's quite a bit bigger. CSF one's also stepped. So it allows you to have as much cooling as possible. So we've data logged the stock intercooler. Um, we've also tuned the car. So we will put the intercooler on, run it on the dyno again, see what difference it makes to the power. And we'll also log it again and show you what the differences are with the IATs. So we've dynoed the car stock, we've remapped the car, put it on the dyno, tested it with just the tune, and then we've fitted the CSF intercooler, and then we've dynoed the car again to show the difference between the stock intercooler and the CSF intercooler on a tuned car. So we come and look at the dyno results. The car made 273 horsepower stock, which is on the low side. They usually make over 300, but the car had winter tires on it, hence the low figures. But what we're interested in is the delta, so the gain the car has actually made. So from the remap, the car gained around 70 horsepower, which is about right, and also um, 120 foot-pound of torque, which is also the correct gain for this car. And as you can see, that's the green line over here. And then the red line that's slightly higher is the same 
car, but with just the CSF intercooler added. So you can see that it's made peak gains of around 19 horsepower and it's holding that power pretty much over the last 1000 RPM, which is really good. So on the road, that would translate into a much faster car. Uh, we did data log the car, but unfortunately we've lost some of the data um, during the transfer. So the only meaningful uh, data I've got is the rate of air through the MAF. Um, so as you can see here, the green line is with the CSF intercooler and the white line is with the stock intercooler. So you can see that the CSF is actually flowing much better than the stock one. Um, at the higher RPMs, uh, the stock intercooler is flowing at 327 grams per second and the CSF is flowing at 351 grams per second. So that goes to show you why the intercooler is working. If the IAT and the boost pressure would have logged, I would have expected the IATs to be lower and also the pressure drop to be the same, if not a little bit better than the stock one. But you can see from the data on the math that it's actually following the same trend as the dyno graph with regards to the power. It's kind of very close here. And then as the revs climb, it exponentially gets bigger. So overall, the CSF intercooler is a great upgrade for um, any diesel car. You can see just the difference the intercooler made uh, itself. So if anyone's running our tune on a 435D or 325D, I can highly recommend the CSF intercooler. Thank you for watching guys. Um, if you want to watch more of our videos, you can watch them over here. If you want to watch what YouTube suggests that you might like from our videos, you can watch them over here. Um, as always, if you haven't already, please like our video and subscribe to our channel. If you've got any questions for us, please drop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them for you.